Hello guys, Maldroid here, and today I'll be showing you how to route the Galaxy S4, the i9-505 model. What you will need first is install the Samsung USB drivers, and then restart your computer. Next, you'd also want to download the CF Auto Route by Chainfire, link in the description, and of course Odin, which is also in the description. After you've completed downloading all the three or two files, you'd want to put your Galaxy S4 into download mode. But first, you should enable the USB debugging. To do that, enable developer mode. If you already have, uh, then that's good. But if you haven't, just tap on the build number about seven times. Now you want to check that developer options is turned on and USB de debugging is checked. Now you'd want to power off your device by holding down the power button of course and pressing power off, then OK. The phone should now turn off. Once the phone is off, hold the power down, uh, the volume down and the power button at the same time and keep holding it until you see a screen that looks like this. It has a warning sign and a yellow triangle. This is the uh, dialog between uh, before entering the download mode. Now for this you want to continue so you hit volume up. Now, now that you're in download mode, now you'd want to open Odin. Do this by right clicking and run as administrator. Hit yes. Now Odin 3 should pop up. Now this is the time where you plug into uh, your phone. Leave the options as they are, and you would need to specify the PDA, which is the root download that we have just, um, or of course, downloaded. After um, find locating the downloaded file, which should be an MD5 file, so you have to extract that from the download that we did. Now open that. Make sure it's in the PDA like section. After that, you'd want to plug your phone into your computer. Excellent camera work, isn't it? Once your computer is plugged in and your phone at the download mode, you uh, Windows would pop up with a driver software installation. Just let it do this and wait for it to finish. After the uh, download or the uh, driver finding thing finishes, you should see the uh, IDCOM. Your phone should show up there. Make sure the PDA file has been selected and the, none of the other options have been touched and hit start. Now I'll bring my phone over it, see how it's flashed recovery and the, wipe the cache probably and those red lines have popped up near the top that's the sign that's been modified I guess now your phone should boot up with this uh, it says recovery booting, that little blue text you should see this orange android here or red actually, it looks orange on the camera but uh, it's uh, installing uh, super su, giving you root access and then wiping cache and rebooting your phone. Now, when your phone's booted up, head over to the app drawer and swipe over to the very last page until you find super, super user, I guess. And there you go, your phone has been rooted. Now, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye bye.